Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Dreamlight Valley Daily Show here on the Gray Main Gaming Channel. Can you guys see me? It looks pretty dark here to me, but uh, it looks really cool with that merry-go-round in the background, however. Uh, today is Friday. It is weekend eve. Congratulations. You almost made it to the weekend. You're going to get there, and it's going to come quickly. And it's the last weekend of winter. Rejoice. Go out and throw your last snowball, or if you don't have any snow, throw something. Just don't hit anyone. Okay. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing fine. It is early. I'm feeling pretty good. Actually, I'm feeling with my hands still, but I am well today. You know, if anyone ever asks you, how are you feeling? I always respond the same way I have been, you know, my entire life with my hands, you know, so, <laughs> and they hate it. They're like, oh, that joke is so old. Uh, news today. We got a few things going on in the news today. Uh, Game Loft has their new Disney game coming out soon. It is called Speedstorm. I put a trailer up for it on the trailer. On the trailer. Oh, jeez. On the channel. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm just, uh, I gotta slow down. But I just put a trailer for it on the channel a few minutes ago. That's gonna be a fun game, everyone. It's Game Loft. It's kind of in the same pattern as Dreamlight Valley, where it has the standard, it has the deluxe version, and it has the ultimate, the Founders Packs. Uh, and I think it's basically the same. Uh, if you want to play it early access, you have to buy one of those three. And I'm looking at the prices of it right now. The early access, the, uh, the Speedstorm standard Founders Pack is... $29.99. The Deluxe will run you $49.99. And the Ultimate will run you $69.99. Uh, you get a few cosmetics with that. You get an extra driver. Uh, I don't know what else. A title. Uh, you get exclusive founding, founding member cart livery for your Mickey Mouse Donald. Mulan, Captain Jack Sparrow, Hercules, and a Chosen Racer. And you get some money, too, I guess. Uh, three Golden Pass credits, 12,000 tokens. That's in-game currency. And such. So, you know, it depends on how much you want to spend on it. But the game is going to be fun. And what's most exciting about it is it's cross-play. So we, our little channel group here can play together we can run contests on this channel you can be on the gray main daily show we're going to switch on over right we're going to do this still but this comes out on april the 18th and we're going to jump in there and we're going to race against each other and maybe i'll have some prizes and stuff we'll see how it goes okay cross play when you want to race against your old friend gray <laughs> It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So, yes, I am excited about this. I love Mario Kart. I've actually been playing a lot of Mario Kart lately. And this is very much the same as Mario Kart. Uh, it has that same kind of vibe to it. So, it shall be fun. You can look at the trailer on the channel right now. And, uh, yeah, get excited for it. I'm kind of excited for it. So, very good, Game Loft. Very good. <laughs> They're working on something else, or they're almost done it. It obviously is uh, coming into early access. So that will be quite, quite fun. Okay, what else is in the news today? We have, uh, we were talking about on the Nooner show, the, uh, the One Ring that is coming out with the um, Magic the Gathering expansion that has Lord of the Rings. And that's coming out on June 23rd. Now, to be clear, the packs that might contain the One Ring card are the collector booster packs, not the standard ones that you get for the set. Okay, it has to be, from what I understand, now, make sure you do your homework before you buy any of these cards. Uh, what you're looking for, if you want to try to get the one ring, are the serialized cards. Okay? 
a lot of these um, uh, like boxes of uh, boosters say these do not contain serialized cards which means you're not going to get that card uh, in those kinds so make sure you're buying the ones that contain serialized cards if you're after the one ring card okay I just want to make that clear because I don't want you guys to go out and buy all kinds of boosters uh, and not have any serialized cards in them. It has to be, I believe, the collector booster packs, not the regular set booster packs. So I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, but just in case, before you buy anything, make sure you read the fine print of what's included in the box, okay? Do that. That way we're all covered. And that is the news for today. I'm so excited about this Speedstorm game. You guys, we're going to have some fun. We're going to race cars. We're going to have our own racers. It'll be fun. It'll be great for the channel. And uh, we're going to have a ton of racing fun. So I hope you all are excited for it. Uh, let's see, let's get us to the comments today so we can keep this video kind of short. I have a video coming up later on about a uh, contest starting tomorrow. Possibly tomorrow. I hope it's tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Uh, but I will talk about that later on today. I will be doing a live video. No, not live. I don't know if I'll do live today or not. I might. Either way, I'll be doing a video from Diablo 4 and I will be talking about the contest that is coming up and then I'll be talking about it again on tomorrow's Dreamlight Valley Daily Show so both shows both videos I will be covering it in okay uh, we have comments today from let's see let's go down to the top or up to the top uh, we had a comment yesterday from Pink Rose that says, Good morning. I think Dreamlight Valley PR team uses or used to respond to concerns, but oh well, it was nice while it lasted. They still kind of do. Uh, anyways, have a magical day. Yeah, they still do. It's just, you know, not on all. I think people are more upset about the fact that they're trying to push premium content than you know answer their issues but that's to be expected you know and uh, red k5 says i still see them do it yeah they still do it they you know they're still out there uh for sure uh angela davis says good morning it is done i watched and liked the video well thank you so much angela i appreciate that i hope you have a magical day i hope you have one as well i gotta refresh this because Red K5's picture is showing on Angela's comment. So something is lagging here. There we go. Now I fixed it. All right. Pink World says on uh, the Hogwarts Legacy Demiguise location, short liked. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I wanted to get people there to like that. So it would change the views. The views were stuck on 666. And that was an omen. I didn't want that there. So thank you very much for going and adjusting that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it myself, but if I could, I would. Um, thanks, Pink Rose. Neojet says, oh, shorts always get a lot of views. Try doing a Dreamlight Valley one. Nah, I think I've tried that. You know what? Dreamlight Valley is hard to do a short for because it's hard to frame up. You only get a little bit of room, but... And there's really not much to do a short on for Dreamlight Valley. I mean, you have to do it within a minute. And I talk too much in Dreamlight Valley to get it inside of a minute. Uh, maybe for the new, uh, you know, the new car racing game, I will start doing more short speed storm if we get enough people in there. Maybe if, you know, if it shows, you know, on the show, you know, like one of you guys splatting me or something, and I'll put it on a short and throw it up there for sure. We'll have some fun with it. Um, do a Dreamlight Valley one and see how it does. Uh, I think I have one from Dreamlight Valley possibly up here already on the shorts. I think I, I think I may have done one on the premium shop. 
couple weeks ago. Also, me and mom got the ice wings, and I love them. Awesome, that's great. Hey, as long as you love it, that's amazing. Uh, that's all that matters. If you're having fun, all right, a big thumbs up. Um, I love winter, too. There are less people outside. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, oh, I and I have an idea, says, uh, says Neil Jet. Uh, when you start trivia back up, which is probably tomorrow, Sorry, I had to cough. Uh, when you start trivia back up, you can get, you can put them in a short, just the question and the answer. That way, uh, more people can find it. Okay, I see what you mean. Put it in a short, and uh, more people can find it. Or you can do shorts of your favorite random comment you read. And mom just said you can do shorts of. Uh, for Legos, like in real life Legos, that's true. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Legos. <laughs> that's definitely true. Uh, and more importantly, the next Splatfest has been announced. Awesome. Uh, which of these is real? Nessie, aliens, or Bigfoot? Me and Mom are picking Nessie because she is cute. I do like the Loch Ness monster as well. Bigfoot, I, you know, it just kind of scares me to have that, you know. He might step on you. Uh, and what's the other one? Aliens? Um, I don't know. I think I would go with Nessie as well. The Loch Ness Monster. Uh, the Splatfest sneak peek starts at 1 a.m. Pacific time on March 24th. Also, hello there. Hello there. And good morning. Good Monday morning gamer, says Neojet. <laughs> well, thank you, Neojet. Oh, man. Darcy, did you, oh, I'm going to go, I'm kind of uh, like reverting back to your name, Darcy. Darcy DiGiacomo, there we go, I got it. I almost said DG Giacomo like I used to, but it's Darcy DiGiacomo. Good morning, I am looking forward to spring, says Darcy. It is my favorite time of year. I had the castle skin again in my premium shop, going to pass on it once again, just not willing to use my moonstones. I don't blame you, you know, it's, they're, High price. There are high prices for sure. Um, thank you, Darcy. Uh, YouTube. Uh, oh, this is from Red K5. Uh, YouTube also likes to spoil stuff. Turning Red just came out, and I was planning on watching it later that day. A video popped up in my recommendations. I was quick enough not to see it, but even the algorithm likes to spoil. <laughs> well, that does happen. Basically, if you're watching something that you don't want to see spoilers, you almost have to stay off the internet. Because anything that you pop, you know, MSN or Google or Yahoo, whatever, is going to have something about it. So, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to, you know, in this day and age to keep anything a secret when it comes to, like, movies and shows. You know? Um... Red K5 also says, there's a Smallville Season 11 in comic book form. Oh, really? Also, Lois and Clark, New Adventures of Superman is the one with Dean Kane. That is correct. Thank you, Red K5. I think it's called that because there was an old black and white show called The Adventures of Superman. I believe you're right with George Reeves, I think it was, uh, who started that. Uh, the new show is called Superman and Lois. Confusing, I know. Ah, uh, it's just different times. But yeah, I think the one you're talking about is uh, the old one. Uh, starred George Reeves as Superman. Uh, Red K5 says, I know, or I hope, Michael Keaton coming back as Batman would maybe open the door to Batman Beyond movie. <gasps> I love, I have that entire cartoon series on DVD. Absolutely love that show. With, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Terry, uh, who is the new Batman. What is it, Terry McGinnis? Uh, the new Batman, and oh, absolutely love it. And the Jokers, that, just a fantastic, fantastic show. It came out about, I want to say 20 years ago. It had to be around 98, 99 that came out. Maybe two, about 99 or 98 that came out. 
absolutely love that show. And I was always hoping they would make that into a live action. And Michael Keaton would be perfect for it right now. Absolutely perfect. So let's keep our fingers crossed, Red K5. I agree with you. That should happen. Uh, Red K5 also says, I liked it, but the views said it when I was there, and it didn't change when I watched it twice. I'll try again. It seems to have changed now, so it's all good. It takes a while for it to update, but I appreciate that. Thank you very much for doing that for me. Um, Red K5 says, I think YouTube is broken because the views did not move no matter how many times I watched that video. Yeah, it takes them a while sometimes to update it, so... Uh, Christy Carroll says, I watched both videos before this one and liked them both. Well, thank you so much, Christy. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Very nice of you to do. You guys are awesome. All of you. Every one of you are awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Just terrific. Um, Sir Ducksworthy the Third says, uh, Yes, the game feels like it's over already. Thanks to microtransactions. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that on social media. Everyone's saying that, oh, the game's, I hate the game now. Microtransactions, uh, you know, where they say, that's not right. I see that all the time. That's not right to have these microtransactions in this game. It ruins the game. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything to the game. All right, it has absolutely no effect on this game if you buy a poster or not. I think we said this yesterday. Uh, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to. So it has, it has absolutely no effect on the way this game is played. Whether or not you own wings or whether or not you have a palace or whether or not you have some posters or not. Uh, you don't have to have those to play this game or to get ahead in this game. Uh, so the people that say, uh, you know, that's not right, I, it is right. I mean, these people have to feed their families. Uh, these games have to be profitable to survive. I mean, you can't work on nothing. I understand that they get paid as employees, but what, who pays the people who own the game license? Who pays them? You know, who pays the studio? Uh, they have to pay these salaries. They have to make money somewhere. When you're running a free-to-play game, you have to make money somewhere. You're not just going to keep on paying workers to create content that they get no money for because how are they going to survive? How is that game going to survive? Uh, when I was looking at the trailer for Speedstorm, I'm totally willing to get the, you know, the ultimate a Founders Pack for... 70 bucks it's worth it it's got cool stuff in it that i want i want to show off my car i want to have a cool outfit you know and that's where it comes in to play i you know i don't need that outfit i don't need that car i'm you know i'm gonna go just as fast as the guy who doesn't have the same car as me but the fact is is that maybe i want a little bit extra maybe i want to be a little flashy maybe i want to be a little bit you know, louder or whatever. It it really doesn't matter as long as it's not affecting the gameplay. Uh, it's only for your own. You know, it's kind of like dressing up to go to the grocery store. You know, people say, well, what are you dressing up to go to the grocery store for? Just wear sweatpants. No, it's it's about me. It's about my mind. It's about where my head is at. All right. I don't want to wear sweatpants to the grocery store because while it might not affect anyone else, and it might, you never know, it depends on what I'm wearing, but it affects me and how I feel about going grocery shopping. So it's the same thing about the game. It may not affect my surroundings, but it affects me. I, it makes the game more enjoyable for me. And if I don't want something that's not enjoyable, I won't buy it. But that's the choice. That's the choice you have. So in no way, shape, or form does the premium shop affect the game at all, other than they charge large, exorbitant prices. That's the only complaint I have. I love those posters. I might save up my Moonstones for those posters that I get. I'm not going to pay for 12, 1200 in cash for them, but I love the way they look. 
but I think they're high priced. So I don't buy them. Right? But it doesn't affect the game. And that's what I'm saying. So it, in no way, shape, or form should it matter if they have a premium shop or not. I hope they make money on it. I hope that they're able to feed their families and pay their salaries and keep this game going. Uh, I'm all for that. I don't want them to work for nothing. But their prices are high. <laughs> they're really high for the stuff that they have. Uh, hopefully they adjust that. And hopefully uh, Speedstorm is the same way. I don't mind if they have a premium shop. I want cool looking tires. Maybe with Christmas lights on them. I want that. I'll buy those. Okay? It's just a matter of choice. That's it. Thank you so much for that comment, Sir Dux Sir Duxworthy. Sorry, I had a hiccup. It's because I wasn't taking any air in there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Dakota Twilight, hello Dakota, good morning to you. Uh, this has been a weird winter, says Dakota. The temps have been all over the place. Uh, winter may have been technically over, but not here in the Midwest. It normally continues for another month or so. But this year, who knows? Oh, I know, yeah, we still have snow on the ground. Uh, and it's in, you know, like during the day in the 40s, at night in the 20s, so it's still pretty cold. Uh, Christy Curl says, wow, I might buy some cards soon on the uh, Nooner with Gray about the Lord of the Rings cards. Now make sure, Christy, if you're going to buy cards, make sure, if you're after that one ring, make sure it says includes serialized card. Because if not, you're buying it for nothing if that's all you're after. Okay? Uh, I think, and I, as I said earlier, those only come in, I believe, the collector's booster packs not the regular standard set packs okay i just don't want to do you wrong i want you to get the right ones and from what i understand and i was looking around uh, a lot of places are sold out of those uh uh you know those boxes there's one um gift box on amazon that has one collector's booster inside of it and you know and the rest are all like just regular uh, boosters or whatever and they're all sold out so <laughs> i don't know if you can even buy them now because of this card is making them so popular two months ahead of time or three months three months ahead of time uh neo jet was uh is commenting also on the nooner with gray says i was thinking it was going to go closer to a million and you might be right neo jet I was thinking that it is going to go over the Black Lotus, which is at 500k. I'm thinking that it might be more, you know, on that end of a million as well. Uh, because it's literally the only card like it. Exactly, it is the only card. There's only one. So I agree that this offer is super low ball. Yeah, I think that guy's trying to, he's like, I, you know, I want the card for cheap and then I'm going to, you know... Yeah, I think you're right. He's looking to make some money on it. <laughs> uh, Pink Rose says, good morning. Just saying hi. Hello, Pink Rose. Good morning. And I hope you are doing well on this Friday. Let's go into the store. The shop. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. It's all nice and glowy and shiny. Oh, beautiful. All right. Let's check out the store. What do we have here for today? In the 40,000... Window, we've got Ralph Sturdy overalls. That's a lot of cannolis. Ah. That is a lot of cannolis. <laughs> unless you have the unless you have the one ring card, then you're all set. You won't have to worry about four hundred thousand cannolis. Eight thousand for the sturdy brown overalls from Cinderella. Thank you kindly. Forty thousand cannolis. 750 for the uh, blue and yellow Mickey sneakers from Mickey and Friends. Bye bye now. Uh, what do we have? 2200 oh, for the trusty neighbor. blue satchel from Tangled. <laughs> Goodbye now. Doodaloo. 7600 for the gold neighbor. pearl earrings. I almost didn't say it right. Pearl. Pearl. <laughs> from. Oh. Mickey and Friends. Thank you kindly. 
14,000 for the green visor glasses, which would go well today. Today is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone who celebrates. Uh, there's some nice green glasses for you to wear today. Thank you kindly. I should have had on a green jacket. I don't know if I have one or not. 975 for black sweats from uh, Monsters Inc. I don't know if I have a. Let me see. Do I have anything green in my wardrobe? For uh, let's see. I don't see anything green at all. No, I do not. Oh yeah, I do. Here we go. How's that? Is that good? Do you have any pants that are green? Oh, I don't see any. We'll we'll stay there. Just to there we go. All right. Do we do this? Good day to you. Green. Oh, there's a green uh, eco suit from Wally. I like what I have on now, so we're not gonna get that. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh, let's see. We have on uh, 1500 for the elemental blue hoodie from Frozen. That's quite nice. Oh. Bye bye. We have 2720 for the neighbor. cloudy lamp from Toy Story. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna get that. I like the cloudy Thank lamp. You kindly. 500 oh, for the neighbor. white corner counter with black marble top. Uh, we have the 6400 grandfather clock from Frozen. I think I've got that already. I don't know. I'm going to buy it just in case I don't. We have this uh, 4800 for the school seat and Cinderella. Bye bye now. 2400 for the meal in a cup from Wally. -E. Thank you kindly. 1000 for the rectangular frame from Mickey and Friends. Thank you kindly. 900 for the caution cone from Wally. -E. 360 for the checkerboard. Uh, let's see here. We have a uh, 450 for oh, the uh, large, neighbor. lavish coral pink couch. Bye bye now. We have 540. Oh, greetings, large neighbor. white L couch. A lot of couches today. Good it's a sofa now. kind of day. And we have the uh, $4,400 cannoli ice dining table. And that is going to do it for Scrooge's Bye -bye. Daily Inventory, everyone. Let us go outside. And Oh, it's still dark out here. Well, it is morning. I hope you all have a magical one. Take some of that magic. Spread it to your family, your friends, your pets, everyone that you run into today in your local community. Make them smile because that is how we change the world, everyone. And speaking of changing the world, please, please share, like, and uh, comment on these videos. It helps save lives. And there are a lot of dogs today on the NYCACC um, website. Uh, Keith Oberman, if you are on Twitter, please go to his page and share. And if you know any rescues, especially pit bull rescues, please have them rescue these animals that are at the NYC ACC. Please, please, they are on their final hours, and the people at NYC ACC could give a flying rat's behind about them. They will just dispose of them. So please, they're running out of time. It's urgent. If you want to know which dogs I'm speaking of, go look at my Twitter page. The link is up in the banner of this channel. Let's get these dogs rescued. There's a handful of them that have to go. They're beautiful, beautiful dogs, and I hate to see them disposed of, uh, you know, like garbage. So please, share it. Share them. If you know rescues, put a call in and see if anyone has room for them because they're just such beautiful animals. 
I would appreciate it greatly, everyone. Uh, I will see you all later on today. I have uh, Diablo 4 coming up. We're going to start talking about the contest, and the trivia starts tomorrow. We're going to have fun. We have a new game coming up from Gameloft, uh, Speedstorm. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a great time, everyone. Smile. Get out there and have a great last weekend of winter. I'll see you in a little bit.